Well, I wanted to be an engineering aide. That was actually why I had gone to the Navy. I closed down Iraq, started Syria. We did Mali stuff, all of Libya. The thing I miss most about the military is that camaraderie, those brothers and sisters that you made in that way. I was angry all the time. And I asked my bosses to talk to somebody and they were like, you're fine. I just kept having the same problems over and over again. I couldn't find the right words to make sure people understood what it was I was dealing with. I have what's called hypervigilance. I'm assessing threat all the time, 100% of the time. And I think that's something I struggled with for years and years. I was trying to fix it by myself. Until I found Headstrong, it was just a constant battle to find validation. I applied to film school. Film gave me the confidence that I was good at something. The virus kind of took all that stuff away. It was one thing to never have known peace. But once I found it, it was an entirely different thing to lose it. I don't know if I would have made it through this alone. Through Headstrong, I finally found some people with at least that had like dealt with enough people with pain and unique pain that they had the ability to like care in a way that maybe other people didn't or understand in a way that maybe other people didn't. Because of the therapy I've been receiving, I've been opening in a way that like I haven't been able to in years, maybe ever. I just thought I was broke. But you, know, you can be repaired. Someone takes the time to help. <laughs>